Previously on Transformers Prime. Why rule only one world when I can rule two? Megatron has managed to accomplish the first phase of his cyber-forming of Earth. The construction of his fortress. In Jasper, Nevada. I don't get it. Why here? Because the Decepticons have discovered the location of our base. Come by our order! Attack! The base is lost. We must disperse to avoid capture. Special Agent Fowler to Air Defense Command. I need immediate combat support. Citadel for questioning. Back to Dark Mount. This is the dawning of a new age, my liege. The reign of Mechatron. You do have a way with words, Starscream. Make haste and unearth the Autobot corpses. of Solus Prime? How is it that you have managed to materialize that, yet not the remains of a single Autobot? Answer your lord and master. Where are their bodies? You're hurt. You probably look way worse than you feel. No, don't move for talk. Just power down. Get your strength back. I got you covered. The Autobots clearly ground bridged from their base before it was destroyed. They could be anywhere. We must initiate global surveillance, my lord. Send search and destroy teams to every sector of this planet. Soundwave. Monitor all Earth-based transmissions for any sign of Autobot communication with each other or with their human counterparts. Master. Mm, foolish humans. I shall deploy the Armada. That won't be necessary, Starscream. Not when we can engage our enemy with newfound might.
A new power dominates your world. Any further attempts to attack me will be met with even greater force. Your leader should be advised that my fusion cannons possess enough firepower to decimate any densely populated area of my choosing. I would in all likelihood set sights on your nation's capital, for starters. Point taken. Now, what do you want from us? Nothing, Agent Fowler. The Decepticons mean no harm to humanity. We merely desire a place to call home. No offense, Megatron, but I'm having a tough time swallowing all this, since you seem so bent on plastering humankind under molten steel. Agent Fowler, I admit that war brings out the worst in me. But the conflict with the Autobots is now over, and our quarrel has never been with your kind. Now that the one true enemy of the Decepticons is no more, my only wish is to coexist on this planet with a human race. Peacefully. Together, Agent Fowler, I believe that you and I can make that dream a reality. You too have a way with words, Master. I almost believed you myself. <laughs> Earth is our planet now, Starscream. And we shall finish what we started. Humankind has no idea what lies ahead for them. Yes, General Bryce. Special Containment Protocol G-1000 has been executed as planned. Evacuation of Jasper, Nevada was 100% successful. As far as its citizens or the media are concerned, the threat was a meteor shower, and the town is to remain quarantined until the resulting radiation levels can be dissipated. Sir, any form of retaliation would be too risky. I just need more time. Yes, I understand. Agent Fowler, those medical supplies still haven't arrived. We have wounded men who need... Doing the best I can, Nurse Darby. Been a little busy juggling a bunch of nuke-happy generals who don't seem to care if they blow Nevada sky high. And a Decepticon warlord who wants to make nice now that the Autobots are in the scrapyard. Megatron's opinion, not mine. He's feeding me a load of horse pucky, trying to crush our spirit. Still no word from anyone? Listen, no contact only tells me that the main comlink went down when the base was pounded into pancake batter. But if I could just call Jack? You know it's too risky. So do the bots. The cons could trace any cell phone signal. Then take me home. If Jack can't call, that's where he'll look for me. Jasper's under complete con lockdown. Nobody's getting back in there. The only ones who can fix this mess are Prime and his bots. I'm sure they're out there, keeping a low profile. They gotta be. Scanning. Negative. No Autobot recognition. Clear. Too close, but your paint job did the trick. The comms uplink is still down. B, I realize Optimus sent us all to different locations to make us harder for the cons to find, but if we don't know where in the world anyone else went, how are we gonna find them? Right, just keep heading toward Jasper, toward Megatron's giant fortress. I never knew there were so many Rockies. <sighs> Miko! Whoa! No cell phone. You know the rules. Dude, I wasn't calling anyone. Just playing a video game I already downloaded. Sorry, I, I guess I'm a little on edge. 
Where are we headed anyway, Bulk? You got some sort of plan? We're following standard record protocol. Which is... An emergency plan we followed during the war, in case any wrecker got stranded or separated from the unit. We'd always rendezvous with the exact same set of coordinates. If Jackie's still alive, he'll be there. Uh, don't stop now. I was just beginning to enjoy myself. <sighs> Believe me, Wheeljack, there is more where that came from. And you will tell me the location of your compatriots. No matter what it takes, or how long. Like I told you, they weren't expecting me. They never bothered to fill me in. So go ahead, knock yourself out. How may I serve you, Lord Megatron? Assemble a team and disembark for Cybertron immediately. While hunting Autobots remains paramount, we must not squander the opportunity to recover any Iacon relics left behind in the chaos. For all we know, Optimus Prime is out there somewhere, planning to do the same. It's okay, Optimus. You're with me. Smokescreen. How did I get here? When we were evacuating the base, just as the cons opened fire, it was my turn to ground bridge away. But I couldn't do it. I couldn't let you face Megatron's army alone. So I snuck back. But that's when the blast hit, and the whole joint came tumbling down. But I managed to pull you from the wreckage before the con stove in, using the phase shifter, which I managed to snag in all the confusion back on Cybertron. I'm, I'm sorry I defied your orders. We're safe here, but we're down so deep no one can pick up our signals. I'll have to scout above ground if we want to have any hope of finding Ratchet. No. No hope. What do you mean? The Doc's the only one who can get you patched up. Optimus. Jasper wasn't evacuated in time. She could have been hurt or taken by the cons. Jack. And even if she did get out, she's got to be worried out of her mind, not knowing where I am. Jack, calm down. We'll get back to Jasper, find a way to reach your mother and the rest of the team. Stay here. Could be a con on our tail. Sorry, Mom. I'd call if I could. One text couldn't hurt, could it? Master. Send in the troops. And Soundwave. I want a live feed. <laughs> Darcy, safe, love you. Agent Fowler, Jack's alive! Scrap. Thank you. 
So toast. to exterminate a lone Autobot and her human pet. Well, in my experience... Not a riddle, Starscream. Uh, sorry. Over there. Not the best cover. We're not here to hide. Unleaded or diesel? before they send reinforcements. Come on, fellas, put your backs into it. Illustrious leader will be pleased. Now, any sign of that phase shifter? I really like that thing. Sir. By the Allspark. Well, did any of the surveillance data survive? Shame. We might have at least learned the direction in which R.C. and the human fled. Clearly, we need to improve our methods of hunting Autobots. And build upon the tactical advantage that we've managed to secure. Lord Megatron, I am ready to return to Darkmount. And I'm certain you'll want to see what I've uncovered. Soundwave, open a space bridge portal. I find myself in urgent need of good news. So please, Knockout, tell me that you found something useful. Some things, my liege. And someone. Just the tactical advantage. 
savage I need. Previously on Transformers Prime. No, don't move for talk. Just power down. A new power dominates your world. Any further attempts to attack me will be met with even greater force. Miko, no cell phone. You know the rules. One text couldn't hurt, could it? I realize Optimus sent us all to different locations to make us harder for the cons to find, but if we don't know where in the world anyone else went, how are we gonna find them? Tell me the location of your compatriots, no matter what it takes or how long. Assemble a team and disembark for Cybertron immediately. He lives. Shockwave. Lord Megatron. Shockwave! This is quite an unexpected turn. I thought you'd perished on Cybertron. Yes, as, as did we all. Reports of my demise were greatly premature. A pair of Autobots infiltrated my facility on Cybertron, sabotaging my space bridge. I gave chase, but failed to accurately calculate the outcome. I awoke in the rubble, blinded. It soon became clear that I was marooned on our dead planet with no means of communication. In time, I repaired my wounds and resumed my experiments. The solitude enabled me to make tremendous advances in my research. Until one day, my instruments detected a massive surge of unidentifiable energy. I traveled to investigate its origin at the edge of the Sea of Rust, where I encountered your salvage team and the smoldering wreckage of the Omega Lock. But this was not the search party I had anticipated so long ago. Leaving one unanswered question. Why was I left for scrap? Abandoned. Why? It, it collapsed the power core chamber. The last thing anyone witnessed was you charging into the space bridge portal. No one saw you come back out. I find your reply to be... logical. <sighs> but you will be pleased to know that I avenged your seeming demise by personally terminating the Autobot cliff jumper. <laughs> Careful, Starscream. You may dislocate a landing gear, patting yourself on the back. As Megatron's first lieutenant, allow me to welcome you back to the winning team. And allow me to clarify the new chain of command. While Starscream will retain authority over military operations, Shockwave will be my first lieutenant in charge of all scientific endeavors. So, you are saying we shall each report directly to you? Affirmative. <sighs> Completely logical, my liege. Hey, you hungry? There's a town up ahead. Uh, I better not. I'm running low on cash. At least you don't have to buy gasoline. I'm pulling over anyway. I need to stretch my legs. Yeah. RC, 
Team Prime is scattered to the winds. For all we know, you and I could be the only ones left. I don't believe that, Jack. And I know you don't either. Maybe not. But the Decepticons outnumber us a hundred to one. Aren't there any more Autobots out there who could help? The war for Cybertron took a heavy toll. But there were others who escaped in the Ark. So where are they? Scattered to the winds. So let's focus on getting back to Jasper. On getting Team Prime back together. Not a bee. Just the same old rubber masks and bad CG. But the usual conspiracy websites might be our only chance to... Whoa! I found something! It's Ratchet. <sighs> Shockwave's toadying is so transparent. Megatron's respect is earned by deeds, not words. Useless, useless, useless. Billions of cameras in the hands of those miserable humans. One of them is bound to catch an Autobot eventually. Well, well, well. What have we here? Lord Megatron, I have found something of great interest. The photo was taken yesterday in a junkyard outside Woodland Park. I'd better scrub Ratchet and replace him with... An Autobot. <laughs> Wait, what? It was just here. Surely one of you saw it. Starscream, you would do well to take a cue from Soundwave on occasion and keep things to yourself. Vow of silence. Such a cop-out. Lord Megatron, surely our Autobot prisoner is a better source of information than this primitive data net. I will have you know, Shockwave, that I have been grinding Wheeljack down for days. If he knew anything, he would have spilled it by now. Again, some prove to be better at holding their tongues than others. Perhaps you would have better results if, instead of a club, you used a scalpel. I recommend a cortical psychic patch. I don't think he's coming. Don't worry, Miko. Every record knows the protocol. Jackie will show. If he's still kicking. Do your worst, Doc. I'm a wrecker. I can take it. Trust me. You, in fact, cannot. The patch failed to yield any new information on the whereabouts of the Autobots. I see. Ah, then it would seem that Wheeljack has outlived his usefulness. With your permission, Lord Megatron, I will see to his immediate termination. so you know precisely who ordered your execution. Where is Screamy? Doesn't have the bearings to do this himself? Jump. Hey, are you a flyer? Okay, I'll jump.
This is how you handle things? Wheeljack is not the first prisoner to escape Starscream's care. Actually, Master, I allowed Wheeljack to escape. You what? But the Autobot's every move, his every word, will be monitored. Thanks to a simple tracking device implanted while the prisoner was still unconscious, following the failed cortical psychic patch. Now, all we have to do is wait, watch, and listen. When the Wrecker reunites with the other Autobots, my armada will strike. He's got to be here. It's me, Raph. Uh, Ratchet? Go away. You're interrupting my power, Dom. Come on, Ratchet. We need your help to find the others. We can't stop Megatron. Not anymore. The war is over, and we lost. You're giving up? We can't just give up. <laughs> Then tell me what we can do. Without communications, without a ground bridge, without a base of operations or resources of any kind. B's right. We know Starscream had access to a ground bridge while he was operating solo. Yes, yes, he'd clearly been using the derelict Decepticon ship, the Harbinger. What does that have to do with anything? It could be full of Cybertronian tech, and it's probably abandoned again now that Starscream's back with the cons. Well, resources won't be of much use. Not without someone to lead us. It's a start. And you'll have to start without me. This is someone else's fight now. There is no one else, Ratchet. Just us. Just the team. Please. Just let me rust in peace. Come on, B. I'm back. Comb through every square micron of our old base. I couldn't find Ratchet's medical kit, not even a bandage. The Forge. That solace prime. It's gone too. The cons picked the place clean. Wait. If you had the Forge, you could fix yourself up. Power of the Primes. Optimus, hang on just a little longer. That hammer's got to be somewhere in Megatron's fortress. Go, wake up. <sighs> Why? Someone's coming. I'd know the hum of that engine anywhere. Good to see you, kid. Safe to assume we're the only three wreckers around. So what are we waiting for? Let's do some damage. What's our next move, Jackie? Circle back to base? There is no base. Cons blasted to dust. The dimwit played right into my hands. <laughs> All seekers to the flight deck. We have pinpointed the enemy.
the coordinates, Commander Starscream. Hold fast. They are approaching your position. Targets in range. the Khans planted a tracker on you. I figured the Khans were up to something, so I did a little poking around under my hood. <laughs> That's my Jackie. So, what's our next move? I salvaged some munitions from the jackhammer on my way out. You thought that made a loud noise? Just wait. Right there, B. And powering up. Keep trying. We'll figure it out. Yep, yep, yep. You're miscalibrating the Energon transducer. Ratchet! Now step out of my way so I can work. Last time things looked this bleak, Optimus slipped me that key card. Something we could hang our hopes on. I know you're feeling helpless, Jack. But this doesn't need to be your burden. Jack, I don't think we're going to need that key card. Need Ultra Magnus. So not only did you fail to destroy the Autobots, but you allowed their number to increase. Is there no one who can bring me their heads? If I may, Lord Megatron, during my exile on Cybertron, I resumed work on a long dormant project. One that I believe may provide a solution to our current problem. Cybernucleic acid? The building blocks of all Cybertronian life. This hails from a specimen I excavated upon our planet and has yielded promising results. The Autobots continue to evade us. What makes you think we can afford to wait for the answer to our prayers to be birthed in some petri dish? You misunderstand. The subject has been fully cultivated. I need only be transported from my laboratory on Cybertron. Then by all means, activate the space bridge. Send to you, my liege, the ultimate Autobot Hunter. Previous 
previously on Transformers Prime. Shockwave! I thought you'd perished on Cybertron. The patch failed to yield any new information on the whereabouts of the Autobots. I'd know the hum of that engine anywhere. Jackie! We can't just give up. Then tell me what we can do. We know Starscream had access to a ground bridge. He's clearly been using the Harbinger. It could be full of Cybertronian tech. Resources won't be of much use. Not without someone to lead us. The Forge. If you had the Forge, you could fix yourself up. Meet Ultra Magnus. I present to you, my liege, the ultimate Autobot Hunter. Cybertronian history. Indeed. But the specimen you see before you was bred in the laboratory. Cloned from fossilized remains, which I discovered on Cybertron. Shockwave. It does my spark good to see you once again tampering with creation. Master, please, keep your distance. No need for alarm. The beast is completely under my control. Such primal magnificence. A sample of Energon from Wheeljack. Spilled during the Autobots' failed interrogation. for blowing the scrap out of stuff. But what does flattening a Decepticon mine have to do with getting the band back together and taking down Megatron? Simple. When we light up this place, the blast will be big and unmistakable. Any Autobot within 500 clicks will see the sky glowing with Energon and come running. Then bring the rain. Mainframe's up and running but I'll need help hacking the operating codes. Even if the ground bridge proves functional, it will be next to worthless without a means of pinpointing the current locations of our compatriots. Use your head, Bumblebee. If the Decepticons had the ability to track Autobot signals, we'd have all been at Megatron's mercy here on Earth a long time ago. Uh, back where we started. But not if I can reconfigure these Decepticon frequencies. At the very least, we may be able to access their comm link. No one's seen or heard from you since Cybertron went dark. How did you find your way to Earth? Soldier, we may not be on Cybertron, but military protocol remains. My apologies, <laughs> sir. Sir? Advise the native life form to watch its tone as well. What? Who is this guy? Ultra Magnus was Optimus's key lieutenant during the war back on Cybertron. Very by the book. Just go with it. As for your broader question, my story is that of all Autobots since the Exodus. I wandered the spaceways in search of others, reuniting with some, often only to see them fall at the hands of the Decepticons. 
until you detected the Omega Beam and followed it here. If you're referring to the massive energy burst originating from Cybertron, that would be affirmative. Upon my arrival, it became evident that this planet had been invaded. My scanners also detected Autobot life signals, yours being in closest proximity to my position. Signals, as in plural? Sir. Five total. Out of seven. Jack, that doesn't necessarily mean what you're thinking. Autobot signals can't be detected when they're shielded. Cozy little place you built for yourself, Megatron. Finding the forge in there may take a while. Then again, maybe you still keep your valuables in the usual place. I won't let you down, Optimus. I'm sorry, overreacting. Easy for you to say, knockout. Nobody here wants your post. I, on the other hand, hold the most coveted position within the Decepticon ranks. And no matter what he may claim, I know that Shockwave is plotting to usurp me. Did you see the smug look in his eye when he unveiled that vile beast to Lord Megatron? You don't scare me, ugly. Hello, beautiful. Munitions planted. Let's get this party started. Company. Megatron? Nah. Bigger. I don't remember seeing that move in Buckethead's repertoire. to the touch. Why isn't it coming after us? You looking for me, beast? I'm right here. We're gonna need more firepower. Good thing I know just where to find some.
and the walls came tumbling down. Yes! Snuff the tragic dragon. Does it matter? Save. Thank the commander. Soldiers? You? Ultra Magnus? It's an honor. It's an honor, sir. Guess blowing that mine made us pretty easy to spot. Ultra Magnus already had a bead on your signals, and ours. Care to tell us what exactly is nipping at our tailpipes? We think it's a robot dragon or a Cybertronian reptile. What is it now, Lord Megatron? Agent Fowler, it's Ratchet. Ratchet? Where's Jack? Is he with you? No, he is not. Listen, we don't have much time. I have taken a tremendous yet calculated risk in contacting you. Hopefully, the Decepticons are not monitoring their own frequencies 
as closely as they no doubt are those of the humans. I am transmitting our current coordinates. What? Ratchet, have you heard from anyone else? What about Prime? Got a grip, doesn't she? You're alive. Ultra Magnus. Doctor. What a grave disappointment this must be for you, Master. And to make matters worse, because it cannot speak. We have no way of knowing why the Predacon failed so miserably. Poor, mute, mindless creature. New paint job looks good, B. At least you had something to work with. If I reversed my colors, I'd be paint. The communications link needs further calibration to be compatible with Autobot frequencies. The ground bridge, however, is fully operational. That would have come in handy when Robo Dragon was trying to eat us for breakfast. The indigenous population of this planet, do they all display the same disregard for authority? No, mostly just Miko. No! Don't shoot! It's Fowler. He's with us. It's okay, Mom. I'm fine. Ooh. Your families are safe. Agent Fowler saw to it that Jasper was evacuated in time. The only signals Ultra Magnus was able to isolate are standing right here. Maybe his scanner's faulty. So the kid's unaccounted for. Smokescreen bridged out unaccompanied. Only Optimus knows where. And Optimus remained behind to destroy the ground bridge, to Ensure that everyone else made it to safety. I watched the base go down. No one or thing walked out of there. Not that we could see. Even if Prime survived, I'm not sure we can afford to wait for him to show up. Not with Megatron holding our planet hostage from his high and mighty perch at Darkmount. I would be inclined to agree with the native life form. We must stop Megatron, with or without Optimus Prime. Optimus! I have the forge. You can use it to repair yourself. That is not the reason I had you retrieve the relic. What? I don't understand. The power of the forge is not unlimited. Its energy has already begun to ebb. So it's running low. Who cares? All we need is enough juice to get you back into fighting shape. Whatever power remains must be used to rebuild the Omega Lock to restore Cybertron. But that would mean... The fate of all our kind is more vital than that of any one of us. In including me. We must do everything in our power to ensure Megatron's downfall. But we will need to be smart about it. Whoa, who puts shoulder pads in command? Temporary command. 
Ultra Magnus is the only logical choice. He was trained by Optimus and served as his commanding officer throughout the war for Cybertron. Now, unless there is any further objection, soldier, please follow me. Aye, aye, Captain. Autobots, take your pick. Now nah, you're speaking my language, sir. Optimus, the Forge is a relic of the Primes. We can't use it to restore Cybertron, not without a Prime. Not without you. There will be a new Prime. You can worry about that after we get you patched up and we take down Megatron. The time for a new leader is upon us. In my spark, I believe that leader stands before me right now. <laughs> <laughs>